Okay, Leo, I'm Tony from Intuit Activity. Um, I'm here with another um, collective read for Leo. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay and everything is going well with you guys. And there are no problems or no obstacles or no um, false people or, you know, just people trying to trick your energy and you're out there falling for it you know so welcome leo um hit the like share and subscribe button down below if you've been enjoying the content on my channel i am here to read for you personally um i literally am a leo so i do a lot of leo reads on myself so i like doing our reads pretty much so i do quite a few more leo reads than i do the other signs majority of the time if you're a cross per, uh, watcher then you really know this already if you watched a couple of other videos i'm going to be implementing um cross watching um content soon um just so i can break off into what that entails um, I'm learning tarot over here, so I have to learn how to implement that in tarot. Far, so far, I've pulled the death card, which is transformation. There's an issue you're going through. Um, simply, I felt and have been hearing that there's a lot of things and I'm going negative against the Leo, you know, and people are doing unnecessary as uh, root, mag root magics and things of that nature or you know, like things to try to fuck with your your mind or have you, uh, you know, I don't know what they trying to do. But um, spirit is saying to keep doing your spiritual baths, keep covering yourself and keep making sure that you stay on top of um, learning more about the arts. That the more you identify these arts, the, the less they work, because you can always pray about those type of things. And God handles those issues. So, um, welcome to the channel. Thus far, you've gotten the death card, which is a transformation of some sort that you may be going through. Be open to change. Be open to um, actually uh, communicating. Um, with someone about some type of conflict maybe somebody maybe have some type of aggression or what have you um uh near about you like i don't know something we'll see spirit give me more energies on leo here okay have the moon in reverse like yeah whatever this is it was some type of truth or some type of deception being um, revealed to you here. As you make this transformation, you may get confirmation about um, some type of deception, just some type of truth, you know, some type of trifling ass mistake. I don't know. <laughs> you have the uh, the moon card in reverse here. So some type of bullshit didn't happen. And it's probably people conspiring against you. Okay. They coming together against you. You know, there are scriptural basis for things like that. When people um, try to block your prayers or they do little stupid ass rituals that literally they think that it works temporarily. Like it be in the queue. You know what I'm saying? And if, if the queue backed up, they feel like it's going to slow you down or some shit. Like, literally, they, they literally put all their might and effort into this type of shit. These people are literally evil as fuck, okay? So, I'm not sure if there's some people you're surrounded by or that's surrounding your energy. Um, You're sitting in the Queen of Swords energy. You're cutting off all type of shit. You're not really dealing with nothing that doesn't come and express clear communication, and what's best for overall that's involved. Thank God. Yes, you have the devil in reverse here, Leo. Okay, good job. You've been released from some of that restraint or that bullshit never worked. <laughs> Maybe possibly anyway to begin with. If you felt any kind of effect from it, you may have been tired, sleepy, slowed down, so on and so forth. You may have been dating the queen of cups. Every, um, it's, the shit is in like she was moody, withdrawn insecure and all type of shit you know like this is something that they may have been wishing on you that may have fucked up a relationship or something of that nature believe in your personal power here with the two of wands 
and continue to um, really examine what's, what has happened, go over it, and guard yourself against that type of deceit and heartbreak or what have you. You might have, you was the high priestess, I think you knew, yes, you definitely knew. And uh, you're a fucking empress. They didn't know that you had this heritage or this royalty about you. You know what I'm saying? They know it's there. And they're definitely jealous of it there, um, Leo. So be careful. And it's only probably because um, they know that in darkness, you'll find the light, okay, Leo? Or you'll shine the fucking light. Because you are the fucking magician at the bottom of this deck, okay? You make shit happen, like, for real. You're, 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 you're a king sitting on the throne. You're a queen sitting on the throne. You're not a fucking punk-ass knight. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that it's not nothing wrong with knights. It's just that they have a tendency to go astray when people offer them genuine love. And when you get offered genuine love and you see that God has really brought somebody into your life that can help you grow in the areas that you need growth in, or they can help you some kind of way grow, you know what I'm saying? And they're not bad for your spirit. What the fuck are you doing? You know, so people are just like literally ch ch um, living in Babylon. Okay. Spirit, is there any more? It um energy here surrounding leo's read any more energy for leo here spirit and i'm gonna pull from the uh white white witch tarot is what it's called i've been kind of loving the little messages they are weird little poems they're like spell ritual forms or something like that they're cute though i like them and I implement them in my channel. Yeah, whatever this is, is coming to you um, really swift, okay? Um, you have a lot of uh, jealousy around surrounding you right now, uh, Leo. Something about a lover. They wanted to keep you away from this lover that maybe all of these motherfuckers won't or whatever. I don't know. Maybe some type of wine magic from some type of coven or some weird ass shit. But there is definitely something about uh, a lover situation that they were trying to separate and make you fail at it. Okay. They were trying to make sure that they kept you unfocused and um, hoarding this shit, meanness. Yeah. They kept you in some type of, um, uninst they wanted you to be in this uninspired, um, energy. Okay. Leo, but God is like, we don't give a fuck. Whatever it was that was going on. You didn't give a fuck. You kept pressing forward. You kept getting these 10 of pentacles. Okay. These motherfuckers, you've really cut their ass the fuck off and you blocked the shit out of them. Okay. And. You're sitting in this, uh, for my masculines, you're sitting in this, this king of swords energy on guard against some type of fucking, um, some type of deceit, you know what I'm saying? And now you're about to get this queen here, this queen of pentacles, because Leo, you may be this queen or take it how, to, how it resonates for how it fits your story. I'm going to ask spirit for some more, um, energy before I shut this down. Any more energy surrounding Leo before I shut down the reading? Spare, give me one or two cards or anything. Okay. So, I'm going to pull from the White Witch Tarot cards. I'm shocked Leo didn't come out in there. Uh, yeah, didn't come out in there. But, hey. It's the first, it's the first time for everything. It's cool. This is still an Elio reading. And what I got was, you know, just people fucking around in your energy and fucking with your life and shit like that, out of jealousy and enviousness and whatever. Um, White Witch Tarot is what we're going to be reading and pulling from. Spirit, give me energy surrounding um, Leo's read here today. I do have the sage burning. Um, I've been doing this and cleansing through each read that I've put up today. 
please do like hit the like share and subscribe button so those that may want to follow or you know listen to a beautiful message because that's best pretty much you just being aware of things that's happening and how you need to cover yourself and your energy and how god should be at the beginning of your rise and at the end of your day when you go to go to that bed you know what i'm saying and you lay it down you have the magician here okay I think the magician came out earlier, okay? So you have the magician here, and this is how the artistry look on the card. But um, you have the magician and the judgment card here. This card is an art card. That's like a, she looked like she got a Chinese face or something. I don't know. She's pretty dope. But we're going to read what it means from the White Witch Tarot. I hope everyone's doing okay. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you like the content that you've been seeing on my channel, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button down below. Share, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm on doing another read for your sign or maybe a collective read message or whatever spirit is having me put out there. You will be notified when it's up. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the hermit. I think this is it here. Okay. No, no, no. The magician. The Magician and Judgment. Okay. Okay, the Magician reads, um, Magnetism. The Magnus is magnet, acquiring ability, occurring objects, weaving warp and web. Shifting into appearance, what is already present, previously occulted, um, revealed now through direction of immortal primal power that has existed before you ever thought to cast a spell and will remain long after you have made a wish to become the one who knows move magic through you as a wild wind blows. Then judgment says our instinct is to separate an object that cannot relate provides deny pride denies the views outside as hypocrite hugs intellect is unbreakable embers embrace a um, scapegoat blood will not atone blame that's placed by you alone the satisfaction of revenge is different when played out upon a friend. Tyrants and I and tyrants all will beg for mercy whenever they reign comes to an end. So God is putting an end to your enemies. That's why you've gotten a judgment card. You understand? So that's what the poem is talking about. Like you're the magician in this thing. Whatever you say, go. Whatever you blow into the air for yourself, positivity. Because a lot of Leos are really full of light love and light majority of them some people have do have bad issues and bad occurrences with leos but for the most part leos are really loving and kind and generous and you know they usually try to be helpful or what have you so whoever's been doing this issue or being in this situation with you know whoever has been trying to break you up from your person or causing some type of havoc trying to get you fucked up with um, projections and illusions or what have you judgment is being called on these people and i claim that in the name of jesus i say so shall it be this is what i have for your reads leo you all stay safe out there and just remember cleanse your energy and keep those positive attitudes and all that light shining out there leo you stay safe